guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining. Let's jump right in. Ooh, alarm saying you're up and let's go. Okay, ooh, what a mouthful. Oh, there's a kiss. Okay. Shuichi leans forward and plants a kiss on my nose. Besides, we already had a lot of fun yesterday. I feel my cheeks going red and look away, pretending to cough. Heh, <laughs> you're so cute. Shut up! Come on, this won't take long. Just have to check if the power surge yesterday didn't find any electronics before we pulled them out of the plug. Do we really have to do this now? Sure, that way we can just relax for a bit before I have to leave. A few hours later. I'm idly browsing the internet on my phone, feeling too lazy to get off the couch. Switchy left almost two hours ago, and I've barely done anything since then. I need to start preparing lunch at some point, but... Eh, I don't feel like it right now. I turn around to the sound of the door being unlocked and opened. A few seconds later, Aki shows up. Morning, where's Shuichi knee? He drops the messenger bag he took to his friend's house by the side of the sofa and sits next to me. He left a while ago, said he has a study for midterms. Oh yeah, yours are tomorrow, aren't they? You should probably study too. I don't need to hear that from you too. Whatever you say, was everything okay here? I heard some areas of town lost power last night. Your friend's house, your friend's house didn't? Nope, although a tree fell in front of the in front of his house, still he missed the gate. Ended up blocking us in until everything until it was cleared away. What? It's all right. His house is far is further back from the gate's wall, so it didn't even come close to it. Well, it didn't narrowly miss the power cables, though. You're not going on sleepovers again. Ah, sure. I'm being serious here. You're being dramatic. A little twerp rolls his eyes, getting up and walking to the kitchen. I follow him around, giving him a real stink eye the whole time. He used to get he used to he used to get shape up he used to he used to get shape up right away when he was younger whenever I did this but nowadays it's like he doesn't seem to care. You keep doing that and your face will be stuck that way. Hey, teenage years. What about you? How was your night? It was like you said. Power went out up until the, up until then we've been watching movies and chatting. Did you see anything good? You're trying to change the subject. Look, you're not going to keep me from having a social life just because you're a worry ward. I'll take this up with mom if I have to. A tree fell. It blocked you in. How are you not more freaked out over this? Because it was a tree falling during a storm. It's hardly that rare, and it's not like we have any control over it. Besides, we have trees planted right inside the house's outer gates. For all we know, we're at a higher risk of having a tree fall in our house than they are. Hell, you two have trees growing right outside your window. Are we going to install a moratorium on trees now? What moratorium? Since when do, we, since when do you even know that word? Did he even use it right? I have no idea. Look, you're worried about me, I get it. It's kind of cute and all, but don't have, you don't have to go all psycho because of it. It's cute? Are you seriously talking down to me right now? Eki grabs a bottle, a water bottle from the fridge, taking a sip of water, giving me a couple pats on the side of my arm and walking back to the living room. Good talk. I can't believe I'm getting completely dismissed here. I'm losing an argument to a child. Stop trying to walk away from me. Stop trying to make up crazy rules. Aki, I'm just trying to look out for you. I don't need you to look out for me. I'm a grown-up. I can look out for myself. You're 12! My point exactly. A am I having an aneurysm? Is this what an aneurysm feels like? Aki? Look, I appreciate you worrying about me, and I swear if you try to instill rules that actually make sense, I'll do my best to follow them, but you're going to be way too crazy. Am I being crazy? You spent the night at a sleepover! A tree fell in your viral vicinity, and as a result, I'm banning sleepovers forever. What about this is crazy? Should I just go to my room? You know, the place where things make sense and you're not allowed inside? Heh, <laughs> good luck keeping me from going inside. I installed a lock on my door. You installed a lock on your door? You do know repeating what I say is in that weird huffy tone isn't going to make it any less true, right? So, so what did you install a lock on your door? I love the fights he has with Aki, they're adorable. Last month, and before you go apeshit over it, Mom signed off on it. Apeshit? Where did you learn to talk like that? Oh god, is my little brother turning into a delinquent? What? No way! Mom would never agree to that. Of course she would, otherwise you wouldn't have a look on you wouldn't have a lock on your door. But that is beside the point. Mm-hmm, sure is. Okay, fine, I'll let it slide this time, but you're on thin ice. Whatever helps you sleep at night, I'm going up to my room. Call me if you need help making lunch. Aki tries to slip away from me, but I grab his arm before he can do so. Wait! No, you're being really annoying right now. 
All right, all right, fine. I'll drop it. Really? Yes, I was being unreasonable. You're being unreasonable. Shocking. Hey, I'm trying to meet you in the middle here, so don't be a twat. And what brought this sudden change of heart? It's really unlike you. Shuichi grilled me over it earlier this morning when I mentioned being worried about you. Said I'm too much of an anxious mess when it comes to your safety. He's not wrong. Still, I'm sorry you had to hear that. You could try saying that without a smile on your face. Sorry, I'm trying. This is the best I can do. I guess Shuichi Ni has to be the voice of reason even when he's not here. I'll have to thank him later. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Immensely. The little bastard's laughing at me now. Ah, I wish I believed in physical punishments. I wish I had gotten home earlier. I need to hang out with Shuichi Ni more. It's sad that you want to spend more time with him than you do with me. You said that, not me. Mm. Aw, oh, don't get upset. I still love you. I'm not upset, and I love you too. Anyway, I'm hungry. Do you need any help preparing lunch? From you? Can't even cook. Hey, I can be useful in other ways. Alright, feel free to tell me when you discover one of them. Aren't you funny all of a sudden? You give me a hard time, I give you a hard time. It's how we keep our relationship equal. You already... You already were giving me a hard time, just now. Hmm. Denied. I take it back. I think I hate you. <laughs> God, these two have... Oh. That reminds me of my ex and his little brother. The school bell finally rings, marking the end of the last day of midterms. God, this whole week sucked. Exam weeks always suck. It's not like the tests were particularly hard, but man, are they ever annoying. And June spent pretty much the entire week in a catatonic state. I'm really afraid for his grades just watching his body language. June can keep fighting. Everyone, please pass your papers along. Hopefully, we won't have anyone failing right from the get go, huh? Most students were happy. Most students have such defeated looks on their faces. Meanwhile, the stag doesn't seem to care at all. Sometimes I think that he might secretly enjoy watching our misery. I maintain that teachers as a whole are evil. Results of your test should be added about at about the end of the week. Anyone who scored below 50 will have to take a remedial lessons on their failing subjects after class. Hopefully he doesn't come to it for anyone in this classroom. I doubt anyone is even listening at this point. He gives the same spiel every year. People have learned to tune it out by this point. Other than that, club activities will restart on Monday. You are all dismissed for today. He walks out of the room, carrying all our exams with him. Everyone's hopes and dreams. As soon as he leaves, the class lets out a collective sigh of relief. I hang back for a couple minutes, letting my brain rest for a bit before I try to think of any more complex thoughts. Also because I talk to some of my classmates so we can compare answers. From what I can gather, there seems to be barely any consensus on the answers for today's tests. I don't know whether I think that's good or a good thing or a bad thing. I think I just lost a few years of my life! As I'm heading back to my desk to pick up my bag, I see June slumped on his, looking completely defeated. You okay there, big guy? I've barely gotten any sleep this past week! Come on, it can't have been that bad. The last time I slept was on Wednesday. I take it back, that is really bad. You sit at home and try to relax. Y yeah, I kept telling myself I'd rehearse as soon as test ended, but I don't feel like I have the energy for that. I gave him a few comforting pats on the back, feeling sorry for the poor tiger. Hang in there, I'm sure you've done your best. I really need to get better with studying. Maybe you look into getting a tutor? Y yeah. What are you doing? What are you going to be doing the rest of the day, Yuichi-san? Hmm, I'm unsure. I want to spend some time with Shuichi, but we haven't talked much this week since he's been so busy. He basically keeps his phone turned off whenever he's studying, so no one will disturb him. Keep his phone turned off? That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Man, you really need a good lesson on self-discipline if you want to have any chance of actually, get, of actually graduating. You're telling me that I... That you're telling me... You're telling me... Blah. You're telling me like I don't already know. Do you have any idea how well you did on the tests? Probably not well at all. I could barely even understand some of the questions. That doesn't exactly make me hopeful. Is there any chance they'll give me a do-over if I pretend like I was sick and on bed rest with this week? Uh, you literally already came to class and took the tests. They'll know it's a lie. Oh, right, that's a good point. My god, his brain must be his brain must be really fried right now. June might be a little oblivious, but that was but that was just downright stupid. Well, I'm sorry if this sounds like I'm ditching you, but I'm gonna try checking up on Chuichi. Hopefully we'll have some free time now. No, you're not ditching me. I really need to head home and rest for a bit. Good luck with the sh good luck with Chuichi, san Thanks. You be careful when crossing the streets. I don't need you being run over because you weren't paying attention. But please don't say something so morbid with a smile on your face. 
The hallways are filled with students heading home. Usually a lot of the student body sticks around after class. Either staying in their classrooms to chat, or maybe just going to their clubs. But this? This is a mass exodus. Not that I blame them. Who would want to stay here after a couple of weeks of testing? Most of the people I see are dragging their feet, looking absolutely exhausted. Midterms are no joke. They're a student's worst nightmare. I'm making my way to Shuichi's classroom. Hopefully he won't have boiled already. Ugh! That's me. Oh, Yuichi-kun. On my way over there, I somehow run into Keisuke and Saya walking together and chatting. Since her class is between mine and Shuichi's and I'm going the opposite direction, I guess it's not too weird that I'd find her here, but... What is Keisuke doing on the floor? Hey there, Keikun. I'm surprised to see you of all people here. What? Why? I know you're smart, but I didn't expect you to find... I didn't expect to find you taking the seniors' midterms. Ah, that's what you mean. Obviously, I wasn't. I just came up to your floor to try and talk with Urata. Yeah, I bumped into him on my way out, and we spent a few minutes chatting. Happy coincidence, huh? And then you bumped into me on the way back. A three-way coincidence. Ew, don't call it that. Alright, alright, fine. Either way, how did you guys how did you guys do with your tests? I did my best. Hopefully that'll be enough. You've always been really good with your academics, so I doubt you'll do badly. Gee, thanks. That helps cheer me up a bit. I'm pretty sure I'll do well. I've been reviewing the subjects quite often for the past month, and I have been and have a very good grasp on it. Wow, good to see at least someone is calm about it. Junkun is probably freaking out, huh? You have no idea. If I squinted and turned my head just right, I could barely make out the smoke coming out of his head. Hopefully that doesn't mean he's crashed and burned. I, I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. That bad? Yesterday, I tried asking him about his exponential map. About his exponential map, since one of the questions in the math test was about exponential functions. He thought I was talking about a game called Exponential that had a map in it. You're kidding. I wish I was. Then I could at least laugh it off since it sounds absolutely ridiculous. That's pretty bad, yeah. I'm like worried for Junkun now. Academically or in general? Both. Yeah, that's understandable. I love the dude, but he seems to have no control over his own life most of the time. How about you? It's probably was super easy for you like always, huh? I wouldn't say that. Did you even study at all? Hmm, I did review the subject a little bit, but the days before... Days before, but not much other than that. I hate how you can barely study and still do well. You wouldn't be the first to tell me that. I do two to four hours of review and study every day when I get home from school. It's so unfair that you can get by with barely anything. I can't help that I'm good at retaining information. Where are you going, anyway? The exit is the other way. I was planning on meeting up with Shuichi. Saya laughs and squeals, making Cake and look at her funny. But otherwise, she remains completely silent. That was weird. You think so? I can't tell anymore. Hey, Keika, didn't you say you had someone waiting to pick you up at the gate? Oh, right. I had almost forgotten. If you two will excuse me, I need to go. Alright, catch you later. Bye-bye! As soon as he walks away, Saya starts smiling from ear to ear. Staring at, her, <laughs> staring at her smile like this is really starting to creep me out, too. Oh god, I just watched that movie Smile. That movie was pretty horrifying. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Checking up on the boyfriend, are we? That's so cute! Yes, and please say it louder. I think there's a deaf child in America that didn't hear you the first time. What? I wasn't even that loud. Look around me for any signs of people having overheard us. No heads turning our way, so I guess that's a good sign. You worry too much. And you're way too carefree about this stuff. Nah, I'm just the right amount of carefree. Whatever you say. Is this why you casually reminded Kaken he needed to leave? So you could talk freely about it? Yes! Aren't I sneaky? Mm-hmm. A veritable modern-day ninja. Anyway, I wish I could hang out with you guys, but I'm sure you two mustn't, ha mustn't have had time for yourself this week, so I'll give you two some space. Well, uh, and I can also, I also really need to pick up a shift at the diner today. Oh, bless me, at the diner today. I didn't do any 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 over the week, and I'm a bit strapped for cash. See you later, Yuichi-kun. Go get him! I think I liked it better when she didn't know about us. Let's see, hopefully Shuichi will still be here. That really sounds like someone's stumbling against the door. Wow, there are quite a few students still here. Are they studying? Oh, Yuichi-kun, what are you doing here? Oh, hello there. Oh, new people, okay. A voice calls my attention on the other side of the classroom, and I see a familiar figure. Minazuki, you're in this class? Me? <laughs> of course not, don't be ridiculous. 
I'm just visiting a friend who is. She points at the, she points at the raven sitting at the desk she's sitting on. I don't think I've ever seen him before. No, wait. Wait, isn't that the bassist of the band that performed during the festival? Yep, Kagahukun is the band's leader. That is not true. Shh, just roll with it. It gives you more respect. Well, I guess it makes sense you two would be friends since you're both in the band. I was already shocked you of all people would be in a band, though. Clint, the calico, laughs. Hopefully you enjoyed the performance. From what I heard, our manager is your friend, too. Oh, yeah, Kaken mentioned he, Kenshin mentioned he joined your band as a manager. He's the one who composed the song I sang, too. Sadly, I had asked him to fill in, fill in for me as a singer the day of the show, but he refused. Wait, what? Why would you ask him that? She had lost her voice the day of the show, and instead of calling it off, she just waltzed into a doctor's office and made him fill her, fill her with meds so she could still sing. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's not safe. It's not my fault. We couldn't just cancel the performance and K-Chan didn't want to sing. The raven sighs. If you say so, I still disapprove. Either way, did you come here for some reason in particular, Michimaya? Oh, right. Yeah, I was looking for Shuichi, but I guess he isn't here. I mean, even if I hadn't failed to spot him, I guess he'd have—I guess he'd have come to me once he saw saw me talking to a, talking to people in his class. Eradicum? I didn't see him when I got here, so my guess is he'd already left. Yes, maybe you should try the student council room. It's just a hunch that I think he might have gone there, and he didn't seem like he was heading home. Ah, all right, cool. Thanks for the help. Um, Kagaho. Hey. Right. Oh, thanks for the help, Kagaho-san. You two have a good day. I'm gonna get a nice big cup of, co cup of coffee after this. Yeah, maybe come watch us as a... As a maybe, blah! Maybe come watch us rehearse later, Iwichi-kun. I'm sure that would shock and fluster Kei-chan, and I'd love to see that. You're evil. I like it. She laughs again. Just throwing this wild idea out there. Maybe don't torment our juniors. Hmm, nah, tormenting him is more fun. I'll see you guys later. See ya! A few minutes later. Wow, the secondary building is completely deserted. I guess it makes sense since clubs are suspended until Monday, but still. Let's see, what floor was the student council room on again? I've only been there a couple times, and I needed and I needed to ask for directions every time. Isn't there anyone around here I could ask? I'll try checking the next... Just as I'm heading into the stairs, I see a familiar white wolf going down. Uh, Haruki, what are you doing here? He raises an eyebrow as soon as he sees me. You suck at greetings. And you just plain suck. Anyway, can you answer the question? I was meeting up with someone. Was it with Shuichi? What? No. I already get enough of him on volleyball practice. Why would I want to see him outside of that? Is this one of those mysterious other friends you, you said you have? Yes, and why are you even talking to me in the first place? It's impolite to pass someone you know without greeting them. The wolf rolls his eyes. Who gives a crap about that? Hey, if you don't want to talk to me, you could have just ignored me. I, I never said I didn't want to. This guy's a real Sundere, isn't he? Yo, Aruki, wait for me, you dipshit! I hear a voice shouting from the other floor alongside hurried steps. Oh, hello there. Woo, an exotic boy, aren't you? Nope, oh, and it's time to pause it. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, give a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye